guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if the angle is off but I broke my other tripod so I'm using this one and I need to kind of figure it out so sorry for my lack of consistency and angle. Anyway we're going to talk about this girl who was on Twitter talking about how all men have rapist tendencies. Now to anyone with a functioning brain that is obviously untrue and just a vast vast generalization. I just don't even know what started that thread, like what happened that day to her to make her start that thread, but it's ridiculous and apparently she got deleted because I just looked her up. Thankfully I took screenshots. So she starts by saying, all men are rapist or have rapist tendencies. I don't care what nobody says. It's probably things y'all do that y'all don't even know are rapist tendencies. Like Charlemagne said that he didn't know. So she's taking one example and equating the entire male population to Charlemagne. One person equals everyone. I hate when people equate people's ignorance or actually being a rapist to an entire population, whether it's men or women. It's just ridiculous. It's like making the claim that because one woman killed her husband, all women will kill their husbands. It's equivalent. It's actually equivalent. Does it make it more obvious of how ridiculous that is? I hope so because it's fucking stupid. So she then says, Rape is not always aggressive like the movies portray. It can be subtle. Rape is sex that's non-consensual. Guys, if I pull up to your crib and I'm chilling and you start touching me without my consent, that's sexual assault. Whether I like it or not, I did not tell you to touch me, which I consider rapist tendencies. It's sexual assault, potentially, depending on what they're doing to you, because if they're just patting your shoulder, that wouldn't be sexual assault. But it's not necessarily a rapist tendency. Like, someone can misread signals and I'm not you know I'm the last person to defend a rapist or any sexual kind of misconduct but signals can be crossed and in real life most of the time people don't say do you consent to me kissing you no most of the time what happens is that two people together will send certain signals that will indicate whether they are inclined to kiss or do more or send signals that they are not interested but it's not like real life is a PSA where people are like, do you consent to have sexual intercourse? Yes, I do. It doesn't work like that. So if someone starts touching you inappropriately, it can be sexual assault, but it can also be messed up signals, you know, especially if you haven't said don't touch me or something. But I hope it comes through that I'm not defending anyone who has been sexually assaulted considering I've had my own experiences. So then she goes on to say, dudes also inviting a girl over expecting sex without prior consent or conversation, rapist tendencies, because she's coming into a situation blindsided and you don't know how comfortable she will be, especially the first time, the fuck. If a guy or a girl, for that matter, if someone invites someone else over expecting sex but they don't act on it, what's the big deal? I mean, like, as long as they, they're not a dick and they don't, like, pressure them or do anything or they might not even say anything, then what's the big deal? I don't know. Like, I feel like that's what happens on most dates at a certain point, you know? Like, one of them or both of them are expecting that that's gonna happen, but... If nothing is done or said and no one's pressured, I don't see why that would be a rapist tendency. If a female ever had to have sex with you, had to have sex with you because she felt like she was obligated instead of actually wanting to have sex, that's rapist tendencies because she wasn't comfortable enough to say no leads into why wasn't she comfortable to say no. Now, I did a video a while ago about a Cosmopolitan article that was saying that some women have sex out of politeness. And in all reality, I think that happens to almost anyone, everyone at some point in their lives. I have not personally been in that situation because I didn't date anyone before Jacob, so there's not really many opportunities for that to happen. But I'm, plenty of women, I'm sure, have sex out of politeness with their husbands at some point, and the same way that men have sex out of politeness with women at some point, you know, just because you want, you want your partner to have what they want, you know? So, I mean, like, it can be because she's scared, but let's not act like that is the only option. And also, let's not portray women as entirely powerless, okay? So, honestly, I think that there, it's possible that it's about being afraid and that the person is scary and she's scared that of what he's gonna do. Possible, but let's not equate that to the only thing. So here's my explanation. Dudes have a sense of entitlement when it comes to females and sex, especially when it is their girlfriend, wife, etc. Okay, for example, you kissing on a shorty, she turned on, you know she turned on. 
However, she still does not want to have sex, yet you continue to ask her for sex after she has said no. That's peer pressure regardless if she's sexually aroused, still does not mean she wants sex. Okay, I'm sorry, the way in which this is written with no punctuation has me completely off. It sounds like she's talking about these very specific scenarios, which kind of makes me think that she's talking about maybe her own experiences or experiences that her friends have had, because like I said, this is a very specific scenario. And obviously, if she says, if she's not into it, she's not into it, end of discussion. Of course, pressuring someone into having sex isn't okay, but that's obvious, but that still doesn't mean that all men have rapist tendencies. Oral sex, vaginal sex, and anal sex are different forms of sex. I don't care if I wanted head and didn't want penetration, if you slide in your pants off, after giving head without my consent, bitch, that rapist tendencies, I didn't ask for all that. If you voiced what you wanted and the person goes against what you voiced, yes, that's not okay. But again, such a specific example. This isn't general, like her general thing of all men have rapist tendencies. If a girl is asleep and you are touching on her, that's equivalent of her being passed out or drunk, she cannot consent to you touching her once again, sexual assault, yeah, that's creepy. But at the same time, you need to define what kind of touching. If it's your fucking, if it's your girlfriend patting your head, it's not the same as them touching you inappropriately. So again, you have to be very specific with what you're saying here because it's not very clear. Again, specific scenarios. If a girl said no or please stop, while you're sexually arousing her and you continue peer pressure, she's going to feel obligated, especially she knows you already know she's aroused, you'll hit that stop playing or you want it. So yeah, that's pretty much like the definition of rape if someone says no or please stop and the person goes ahead and does it anyway, so I can agree with that. For the homeboys that defend their rapist homeboys or homeboys with rapist tendencies, Y'all are just as bad. She said that all men have rapist tendencies, so I don't know who the homeboys with rapist tendencies are. Are they a particular subsection, or what's the deal here? People who defend rapists, I agree. That's a no. Moral is, just because you think she wants sex doesn't mean she doesn't, and forcing it by further sexually arousing her contributes to rapist tendencies because bodily instincts like human touch whether we believe it or not. This was entirely ridiculous, and this person was generalizing and then being very specific, which is really counterintuitive because it's going against your point. There are no numbers, statistics, proof. This is just someone's opinion, just like this is my just opinion. But the thing is like, it's very detrimental and divisive to decide that a certain group of people is X or Y, whether it's men or women. It's just so ridiculous and counterproductive and you're not really helping anyone by making these comments, so I'm just wondering what the purpose of that was. I don't know if she wanted to blow up with hate or find the like three like-minded people who don't use any kind of logic, but that's just my two cents. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, thank you to my patrons as always, and let's get right into the fan art.